How you doing? Steve Noble, Noble Moto. Uh, what we're doing today is we're going to put the carbs back on our uh, late 70s Goldwing here. Uh, you can follow my blog or the tech articles in Thunder Roads, Ohio. I've been working on this for a while. Uh, it sat for a couple years, belongs to Brian Owens Skidmark. Pulled the carbs off it, tore them apart, uh, cleaned them out. Some of the floats were set wrong. There was some gunk in them and you know all the fun stuff that happens with old carburetors. But anyways, so, but we're going to put the things back on today. And one of the things we're going to try and do here is anyone who's ever worked on these or known anyone who's ever worked on these will tell you what a pain it is to get these carburetors back in here. Because generally they have to be bolted together as one unit and then you have to slide them in there from the side. And it is near impossible to do. Not impossible, but near impossible. You usually end up pulling one of the caps on one side and a float ball on the other and there's a lot of finagling and it's a nightmare. So my general goal is uh, I have these things apart, obviously, and I got some Allen head cap screws uh, in the same thread as the Phillips bit. And the thought is, I should be able to put these in from the separate sides, you know, with them still loose, bolt them together with the socket and cap screws uh, with a socket Allen and a whole bunch of extensions, and then hopefully hook up all the linkage in there, and that'll take a lot of the difficulty out of reinstalling or even removing the carbs down the road. But reinstalling today or the next time we have to pull them out, um, hopefully we won't, but you know how it goes with old bikes. So, this is what I'm going to do today. First, I'm going to do it on the bench, just to show you what's going on and where I'm going with the Allen screws. And then I'll take it apart and actually do it again on the bike, just so everybody can see what's up. Sorry for the background noise. We're up here at Skidmark Garage Day. A lot of background noise going on. Other people working on projects. Um, coronavirus hasn't ran us all off yet. Um, so, that's all I got. Uh, let's get to it. All right. Hey, okay, Sav, so we have all the Allen head cap screws here. So the plan is, I got the linkage disconnected on one side. I put a little thought into as to which one I disconnected where. So I should be able to pop this back in there. Then we take this cover off, I should be able to get that little cotter pin in there. And this one's going to snap on here once it's done. And getting this cotter pin in here, that's going to be a challenge. But we'll sort it out as we go. The basic thing, once these were both inside the bike there, first thing we're going to do, obviously with a new gasket in place, and a little grease on the gasket, and of course the uh, restrictor tube. I'm going to snap them together so they line up inside there. And we're going to take a 4mm Allen socket, and they do sell longer ones at Harbor Freight, which is probably actually be way easier to do this with. And we should hopefully be able to, like I said, a lot of background noise going on here today. So it should hopefully be able to slide this in from this side. Well, from out over here. Snug that one up. If you have problems with the uh, getting the screws to stay on the uh, bolts, um, nice dab of like gooey grease on here will kind of help stick. Should be able to. And if you had ball end Allen's, long Allen sockets, this would probably be even easier. So there we got two, it's being held in place. Then we'll be going over the other side of the bike. From here. From here, this is definitely going to be another ball end Allen one. But I bet I can get it in there. Let's see, um, ball and Allen wrenches are going to be a must for this. Or ball and Allen sockets, but snug that one up there like so. Now from there, if we go to the top screws. Which top ones are going to be relatively easy to get. We're going to have this one here. She'll thread it. Wait, is that the right screw? Sorry about that. Longer screw there. Thread that one in there from that side. Also need a longer screw for right there. It looks like it'll be a trip to the hardware store here. So I can get one long enough, but still get the idea. We will be putting it back in there and tightening up with the appropriate size screw. But at that point, this whole assembly is bolted together. 
or then this one too short screw right there. But even this one, even if I had to, uh, I can still put the Phillips bit back in here because I still have them. Um, especially with the top easily accessible like that. But just to make clear again, we've got two bolts here on the bottom. Well, three. We've got two from one side, one from the other side, and then the one from the top here, and the one from the top here. By that point, the whole assembly should be together inside the bike. And this is going to come with the challenge. I wouldn't put on the intake yet. Then it's going to come the challenge of lining up our throttle plates and everything here. And how, this probably is not going to be the easiest thing in the world to do there, but still easier and hopefully getting the carbs back together. We'll hook that on, some long needle nose to get that um, cotter pin in there. Then drop this one in right there. Cotter pin in from this side. Then hook up your throttle cables here. Hook up your choke cable here. And once all that's attached, put your intakes on. Hold her down to your motor with your intake. Essentially, it's ready to rock and roll. Of course, the top piece, air filter, blah, 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 blah. But that's all we got, man. Uh, hopefully, this simplifies this process for some people. Uh, I'll do a time lapse of an install here when I actually put them on the bike. But uh, yeah, hopefully, this uh, simplifies the process and uh, takes some of the guesswork and time out of doing carbs on your uh, old Goldwing. That's all I got. All right, as you can see, carbs are on there. Uh, they're all bolted together. Uh, next step from here, you know the rest, you know, put the intake manifolds on and uh, you know, hook up the fuel lines. Of course, breather, intake box, all that, like, you know, the relatively easy stuff. But there you go.